Hey, happy breakout. It's Ms. Kosh. We are looking at topic 214. Um, so they, they're calling this logarithmic function context and data modeling. Okie dokie. So um, the good news is that this is, we keep doing some of the same kind of things, but with different types of functions. Um, and so they're noticing here that we've got this, um, the size of a church and the salary of its pastor or whoever leads the church. Um, and it seems to follow some, some sort of a logarithmic pattern right here. So, um, so there's one example of where a logarithm might be beneficial. Um, okay, so in this one, they're telling us that this data um, can be... Uh, can be modeled with the equation L of X is equal to A plus B times the natural log of X. Um, and so when I see natural log and then I see X values of 2 and 5, I know that my A and B value are going to be kind of gross. Um, but let's jump in and, um, sorry, I have things in the way. But let's jump in and we're going to find it um, uh, the exact value and then we're going to also find it with the, the calculator and kind of see how we can look at the both, both of those. Um, Okie dokie. So we have... We know that L of 2 would be equal to A plus B times the natural log of 2, and this is equal to L of 2 is equal to 3. Okay, and then um, we also know that L of 5 means that A plus B times the natural log of 5 is equal to 7. Okay, so what I see, if I'm going to do this by hand, is I notice that my A's will cancel pretty easily. So I can say, well, negative A minus B times the natural log of 2 um, equals negative 3. And then I have A plus B natural log of 5. I guess I probably should have said natural log of 5 times B because it's kind of the coefficient. But then you might be, um, what I was just saying was usually we write a coefficient. Like if I have, if I have 4x, I would write that 4 first. If I have x times the natural log of 4, I might write it this way um, because it's hard to know if I'm writing the natural log of 4x or the natural log of 4 times x. Those are not the same thing, my handwriting, sorry. But um, I think we're probably safer. Um, like the natural log of 4x is implied this, which is not equal to the natural log of 4 times x, which, which is something different. So I'm going to keep writing it with the natural log at the back, even though that's the coefficient. Okay, I digress. So here we go. We have our system. Our a's cancel, and I have, I have a, um, a negative b times a natural log of 2 plus a positive b times a natural log of 5 is equal to 4 once my a's cancel out. So what I see is I can factor out a b, and um, let's switch the order. And we have a positive natural log of 5 and a negative natural log of 2, and this is equal to 4. So my exact value for b is um, b is exactly equal to 4 over the natural log of 5 minus the natural log of 2. And I could clean this up and use other properties and squish this together with division, but I don't know that that really helps us. So if I want you to write it in a certain form, I'm going to tell you what form I want you to write it in. Otherwise, this is exact, and at this point, we're ready to grab our calculator. So I can come um, to my calculator, and I can take this value. It's 4 over the natural log of 5 minus the natural log of 2, and I can store this value. We just said this value was b. So I'm going to store that as b so that I have it for when I need it. Um, and so this is approximately equal to, I'm going to practice writing four decimal places, uh, 4.3654. Okay. Um, and then <clears throat> to find the exact value of a, I can plug this back in. And I can say a plus, well, my b value, the exact b value is 4 over natural log of 5 minus the natural log of 2 times the natural log of 2, and that equals 3. I'm sorry, I didn't save myself enough space. Okay, so I see a would be equal to 3 minus 4 times the natural log of 2 is in the numerator over natural log of 5 minus the natural log of 2. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so let's see what that gives me. Um, I can take this and say 3 minus, and use my fraction, 4 times the natural log of 2 over the natural log of 5 minus the natural log of 2. And I'm going to take this number and I'm going to store this as alpha a because that was my a value. Okay, and so here we go. I don't remember getting that number, but I think I typed it incorrectly. 
Well, we're about to find out. Okay, um, so I can. So I just found that a was approximately a negative point zero two five eight eight. That might have been it. I don't remember. Um, but I can double check by saying, um, I can I can check my work and say a plus b times I'm coming back here times the natural log of two times the natural log of two. And if this doesn't equal three, then I've messed up. Oh, good. Okay, and then I can say a plus b, where's b, there it is, times the natural log of five, and this better equal seven. And it sure does, that's a good sign. Okay, so then the other thing, um, I think we've answered the question. Given the data, write two equations, which we did. Find the values of a and b. We found both the exact values, so here were the exact, and then we found the approximate. Um, Okay, so the other thing that we can do with this is we can come in our Casio, um, we can go to equation and we can do a simultaneous. And so we have two unknowns and so we can enter in our um, coefficients. Notice our coefficient here is the natural log of two. My calculator goes ahead and rounds that, um, but let's see how close is this is a one, this was now a natural log of five, and this was a seven. Oop, have to hit the enter. Um, and now I can just hit enter, and it's telling me my my first column was this. Does that match? Uh, sure looks like it. And then the other one was this. Does that match? Sure looks like it, and that's a good sign. So if they want an exact value, or if you don't have a calculator, you're, you need to do it by hand. Um, if I asked to show me you know, how you solve the system, then I'd like to see that by hand. We could also, um, I didn't, do this in my notes, but we could also come in here to statistics and put in this table, what was it, two, five, and then three and seven. Okay, and so if I graph that, that tells us almost nothing, but we are calculating, we can come over and do that um, logarithmic regression, and the only version they have is this, and if you notice, those numbers look familiar. Um, but don't rely on that, because uh, I want you to be able to solve the system. But anyway, there we go. Um, we're about seven minutes in. What do I have next? Do you know what? Let me let me come back for another video for the for uh, the second one. All right, go practice.